Okay, folks, David Davini here. I am your lab instructor um, for this online Bio 168 lab at Blue Ridge Community College. Uh, I'm a full time instructor at Caldwell Community College uh, in Hudson, North Carolina, uh, and I've been there for just over 10 years now and have been doing online courses and labs for uh, probably at least half that time now. Um, so pretty well versed in this and uh, I think you'll enjoy uh, what we've got going on here too. Um, your lab in, or your lecture instructor is Aaron Cook. Um, I've worked with Aaron. He was at uh, Cole Community College before he came to Blue Ridge and so I worked with him for um, I guess it was about nine, eight or nine years and so we're uh, pretty familiar with each other and pretty familiar with how each other each of us runs uh, this course. So that should help things run relatively smoothly for you. So I just wanted to kind of touch base <clears throat> and kind of show you what to expect because sometimes there is some anxiety about what to do and how you're going to do labs and so I'll show you that. Um, this is kind of what my end of Moodle looks like. Yours may look a little different uh, but it's somewhat similar and so I'll just click on the lab here and open up this first part. Uh, the first thing you need to do for me is open up this syllabus and read it. Uh, a good number of the questions that you're going to have for me at first will be answered right there and so you need to make sure you open that, download that document uh, and read it, especially the sections that I have kind of highlighted in red. Uh, those will be super important for you to pay attention to uh, so um, uh, it would be very beneficial for you to do that. Um, after that you can click on this uh, week one here. This is <clears throat> what I call a safety lab um, and so as we move through the semester you're going to see at least three things um, and I already see a typo here so whatever. Um, you're going to see at least three things for every lab. So what I've got here first is the PDF. And so when you open that, that will generally be instructions. You can think of the PDF as your lab manual. So the PDF will tell you how to actually do the labs and give you some background information on the lab itself. So if I click on this one for the safety lab, right, it'll open up eventually. Right? And so you can kind of see uh, and kind of read through uh, this material. Lots of links in here for you to use. Um, and a, it's just the, the, these PDFs are pretty robust documents, and so you should uh, certainly make use of those. The next thing will be any kind of questions that you have to answer for me. So, as you're doing the lab, for instance, so with the safety contract, um, this one's pretty easy. So, I'll just open this one up. And so for the safety contract, um, all you've got is just to read through this after you've read through the PDF, uh, sign your name, date it, uh, and then save this and submit it to me. Uh, one of the things I have you do is submit files um, of a particular file type. Usually if you're using a Windows operating system, uh, this probably isn't as big a concern for you. If you're using Apple products though, this may be. So what you wanna do, um, so if I type my name in here, right, whatever, right, and put, put the date. What I want to do now is save this. So I want to go to File, Save As, right, and pick a place where I want to save it. And then when I'm saving it, I want to make sure I'm saving it as either a docs file, right, so D-O-C-X. I want to save it as a doc file or I want to save it as a PDF, one of those three. Uh, and I try to make sure to tell you that, at least in the first few uh, documents. So notice here I say um, as a PDF, a docs, or a doc file. Uh, that just makes it easier on me when I'm trying to grade your stuff. Uh, sometimes if you save it, for instance, um, sometimes in uh, Apple products it'll save it as a dot pages file and so I can't see those on my end. And so save it as one of those three file types uh, and you'll be fine. Right? And so that's the, <clears throat> the safety contract when you save that, then you're going to submit it to me. And to submit it, you'll just click on this uh, link, right? So submit safety contract here. You'll click on that. It'll give you the opportunity to upload that to me. Uh, you'll upload it as one, just one document, um, and then I'll I'll get a chance to grade it there, right? So PDF instructions, uh, the actual contract, and then submit it. 
And so then we'll go into week two, which is an actual lab. Let me click on week two sales lab. And so again, here's the PDF. <coughs> All right, so you'll scroll through the PDF and see uh, some background information as well as some instructions, some materials that you're gonna have, right? Uh, also, you'll see places here that have a little camera icon. Those are places where you should be taking pictures for me to submit, right? And so you'll see that in multiple places throughout the PDF. So make sure you pay attention to those. Um, if you try to submit something to me without pictures, then I give that an automatic zero. Uh, pictures are the only way for me to kind of know that you actually did the lab and you're not just trying to uh, answer the questions, right? So you see there's another uh, camera icon. And so these are all um, very kind of cookbook style. It's telling you what to do for every step. Uh, it's going to benefit you to read through this PDF first before you start doing the lab. Otherwise, if you're trying to read it as you're doing it, it's, it's going to be very confusing for you. So you'll read through the cell structure function PDF. And then when you actually start doing the lab, Here's the Word document. And so you'll notice cell structure function. You can put your name, the date, uh, and then it's going to start asking you to fill in some data or asking you some questions about the lab. <coughs> and then it's going to ask you to submit uh, some photos for me too. Right? And again, save that um, as a PDF, a doc, or a docs file. And then here's where you'll actually submit that. Um, one of the things I want to make sure you do, let me go back here, is make sure you're actually putting your pictures into the document here. <clears throat> Sometimes students will try to submit this document to me and then email me pictures. I can't grade it that way. Or they'll try to submit pictures separately. Uh, don't do that either. Just go ahead and submit the pictures. Um, in this document all is one thing and so an easy way to do that right so notice my cursor is there um, I can just go up and insert right find let's see a picture right and then submit it from wherever your your uh, picture is located on your computer or wherever right and so you would just insert the first one there the second one there the third one there uh, and then save all that as one document uh, and submit it to me. And so if you have any more questions about that, uh, please feel free to ask me. Uh, and so that's what you'll see each week. You're going to see the PDF, you're going to see some questions, and a place to submit answers to me. I try to make it uh, pretty cut and dry, pretty uh, not very busy uh, as far as presentation so that it's not very confusing for you. Um, but that's kind of how we'll march through each week of the semester. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know.